Hey everyone, how you doing today? Well, today is an absolutely gorgeous day. We got a slight breeze, about 75 degrees out, sunny, not a cloud in the sky, guys. Yeah, this is great. And being laid off means I don't have to be a slave inside some building. <laughs> sweating away which is really good so uh, I'm enjoying this layoff like I said you know it's a big open door and lots of opportunities so and one opportunity that I've had is is recently within the last couple weeks here I've been inspired by somebody here on YouTube and uh, I'm not gonna mention his name right away but uh, I will later um, what this guy is you know he's turned out to be a pretty good friend of mine you know I uh, I consider him a, a darn good friend actually and hopefully one day we can uh, get together and meet up and do a little fishing or something as long as the gators don't get me that's a hint anyway so you ever meet somebody that just uh, kind of inspires you to just get off your duff and do something <laughs> says things straight up what he thinks and that's how he feels and that's just the way it is well, I tend to like people like that because, you know, there's no BS. It's just who they are and how they are. They're real. So what I've been inspired to do here is, let me show you, let me get out of my pocket here, is make some micarta, homemade micarta. Now, you guys probably already know who this is, but I'm going to say it anyway. So the guy that it is... The guy that has inspired me here is Mr. Coop. Now, if you guys haven't checked out his channel, you really need to. Just do it. Take my word for it. You'll like him. You'll like his videos. Um, you know, I've, I've done a lot of laminations in the past. You know, I'm a fiber, fiberglass technician. I build refrigerated truck bodies, or did for a living. And um, I've played with fiberglass for well over 20 years. I was one of the first guys in the area to do uh, custom car audio fiberglass work, meaning door panels, dashes, uh, custom subwoofer boxes, you know. I did that, you know, back in my early 20s. Now let's take a walk down through this field here. These are the soybeans. See, they're not doing too well, but this field had to be replanted. The front field's doing a lot better. But anyway, so yeah, um, Mr. Coop, you've been an inspiration to me to get up off my duff and, and get some of these projects done. So um, I am going to build a little bit different style jig than what you have, um, just because I don't like wrapping the uh, my cart up. And I do have some material somewhere in storage around here for it's called it's a ultra high weight molecular plastic. It's used for jig making and and. Um, different sleds of sort, you know, where you want material to slide really easy. Almost nothing sticks to it, so it's the same thing that milk jugs are made out of. But anyway, guys, um, so thank you, Mr. Coop, for inspiring me to uh, do a project. You know, I, like I said, I've done a lot of lamination stuff in the past, but never with uh, construction paper. So it's kind of cool. It's a fun little project, and uh, if you guys are interested in doing it, I will post his video of how he does it on here. So, you guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you later.